this is heart-wrenching to me because my school's motto is family, memories, passion. So on the outside of my room, we are encouraged to display our families. And my family looks different because I'm a gay man. So Jeremiah and I are on those pictures. My students want to know who that is. This bill makes me question if I can answer their questions about who Jeremiah is. Is that instructing? Am I now giving basis for parents to take legal action against me? That's personal, but that's also professional for me too because they really do intertwine. I felt like I needed to speak out against the bill. I can't sit back and let this kind of stuff happen without there being a little fire lit underneath it. I did my first interview with 10 Tampa Bay. John Oliver picked it up. MSNBC interview came. After that interview is when Tucker Carlson, Fox News, the right conservative outlets started coming after me very, very hard. Ron DeSantis, the bigot that he is, is standing in the way of this teacher's self-expression. Watch. More so their following. They were messaging me directly with hate speech, telling me that I was a pedophile, that I'm a groomer, I should be fired immediately. All of that pushed me even further that I had to keep going with this. So then I began to work with AFT and um, Randy Weingarten, she gave me a call and she was nothing but, we got your back and we're gonna help you through this. So when I did the NBC um, op-ed that AFT worked with me on, the response was so positive. With that just came this relief I have been worried that my job is on the line. So the union, not only that, my local, but national has really stood behind me and said, we know you, we know that this bill is wrong, and we're here to help. The sense of security that it brings, I mean, that's everything. It makes me proud to know that I'm part of an organization that is dedicated to its members. It makes me proud to be a union member.